Warning, the stunts in the following video are performed by a trained expert with 30 plus years of minecrafting experience. For the protection of yourself and those around you, do not attempt anything you are about to see at home. Enjoy. What is up everybody? Today we are back in the wonderful land of Minecraftia and today we are going to be testing another Minecraft Mythbusters mini myth. Now this one has to do with the same myth that I tested when we were looking to see how smart sheep were. And so in that video essentially what I did was I built a maze, I put the sheep in the maze and I saw if he could get to the end of the maze by having wheat at the end of it and we saw that he was not actually able or smart enough rather to navigate the maze and get to the end and get the wheat. Now, if you guys didn't see that video and you want to, I will have that linked up in the upper right hand corner right now. But today's video is actually going to be using the same maze. And that is because as I was going through the comment section of that video, I noticed two things that people were saying. Number one, some people were saying, Andrew specifically said, that um, zombies are actually smarter than uh, sheep if you put a villager at the end. And so today we are going to be testing to see if a villager, or I'm sorry, if a zombie is actually smarter than a sheep when it comes to navigating this maze when their end result or their end treat is going to be a villager. So if I go ahead and I spawn a villager here in our ending green box and I put a zombie in this green box over here, the idea is that because, I don't know, zombies have like a blood sensing like, I don't know, AI or something, they should be able to make it through the maze easier than the sheep did who was just trying to sense the smell of the sheep, right? These things got like some kind of infrared vision that lets them see through the walls or something, lets them navigate, is the idea there. And the second comment I noticed actually came from a guy named Kent, and he said that the fact that the sheep was running through a maze made of its own hair was so terrifying that he wasn't able to complete it. And I just thought that was absolutely hilarious, and so I wanted to throw that comment in here as well, just because I thought it was really funny. So Kent, good props on you for the, uh, for the hilarious comment. And so today we are actually going to be testing to see if zombies are smarter than sheep. Now I do need to make one more modification to our maze here. You can see all I did here was just add in a door so that the villager isn't running around our maze. And then I'm just going to smack in some glowstone, we're going to spawn us a zombie, and then we are going to see if he can actually navigate the maze easier than our other sheep friend can. So let me just go ahead and smack in some glowstone and then we'll test. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just stuck a bunch of glowstone randomly all around the maze so that we can see it. Because once we spawn on this zombie, I'm obviously going to have to make it nighttime. Let me just go ahead and do that right now. There we are. And so now if I go ahead and I spawn our zombie inside of our cubicle here, we can test to see if he is really smarter and bloodthirsty enough to get to our villager here and eat him and make him a zombie villager. So let's just go ahead and break down the wall and we will see... Oh my god, he's going before I even finish breaking down the maze. So you can see here, he's navigating it pretty well. He knows where the villager is. And, oh, see, he got stuck. He got stuck in the exact same spot that the sheep got stuck. If you guys watch that video, you guys know that the sheep got stuck right here on the same spot. Now, in order to further test this, I'm trying to push him out here, but he is crammed into the wall. So let me try and, let me spawn one on this side. And uh, let me, okay, let's try it. We're going to try something really quick. We're just going to try and give him a little hint here. There we are. Okay, so now we've got the villager on the outside of the door, and the zombie is again in pursuit. He's on the move. He's going, he's going, he's going. Is he going to know how to make the turn? Oh, he is! Okay, so he's actually smarter than the sheep. Right here, the sheep got stuck last time, and... Oh, gosh. Oh, God. oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The, the villager ran into him. Oh! 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 Oh, he's getting... Oh, no! No! Okay, so... I don't know if that actually was the zombie being smarter or that was just a villager running towards the zombie in an attempt to die. But either way, the zombie did make it all the way through the maze when we had the villager right here as opposed to on the other side. Let's, so let's go ahead and we'll run that test one more time. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move the door one out. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to break out this door. There we are. So if I actually move the door out too because I have glowstone there and I spawn my villager here, let's see if the zombie can navigate the entire maze from start to finish without me helping him so all right he's going he's got no problem we have the villager as close to the door as he can get he wants to get out but he can't escape the zombie easily bypasses the uh, the trick side here he's walking he's walking he's walking now without the villager being is he gonna make it i think he is now the sheep got this far at one of the trials as well so nope yeah he made it he made it all the way oh and he hit the villager through the door and now he's walking back around so it seems like actually it's literally this two or three block difference here that determines if the zombie is smart enough or isn't. 
So if the villager is standing either on this block or that block, it appears that the villager can make it. But if he's standing on this or the inner two blocks, so either the block he's on there or this one, then the zombie is not smart enough. So it must be just a sheer distance kind of AI, and it's the two block difference here that is that is determining the entire thing. And so that's really, really interesting. So as far as if the zombie is actually smarter than the sheep, I don't really know because if I push him here, there you go. Now you can see he's smart enough and he knows to come all the way back around. But if the villager walks back, just a block or two. Let me see if I can push him. Come on, little buddy. Come on, little buddy. Oh, see, and then he just gets knocked back and then the zombie walks all the way back around. So he's not really the smartest, the smart, the smartest, the sharpest needle in the haystack. Yeah, sure, why not? That works. Um, but he is still pretty smart, so I don't really know how he compares to the sheep. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I guess this myth is kind of combusted because he's kind of smarter, but kind of not. I think that the AI on both of them is probably about the same, but it's hard to say here because he did make it all the way around when I moved it here, and we never really tested that with the sheep. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys have seen both videos where we tested the IQ of the sheep and the IQ of the zombie, and let me know which one you guys think is smarter in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure which one it is, and so I'm going to let you guys make up your minds on this one. But I think as far as this actual myth goes, that's about all there is to test. If you guys know of any other myths that we can test here on Minecraft Mythbusters, feel free to leave those down into the comment section below, and maybe I will be testing your myth next time on this episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do feel free to drop me a like down below and subscribe for some more Minecraft console content in the future, as well as Mythbusters if you guys enjoy this series. And I think with that said, that's about it for me. I do appreciate all of you guys watching, and I will see all of you guys later with another video. So, peace!